Hey guys, Rico here, Rico's Place. Uh, you may have caught just the tail end of a conversation of one of my buddies that stopped by up uh, Jesus and well, I'm having problems with my, one of my phones. It, it doesn't take apps and such and he saw my GoPro on the counter. Well, why aren't we using the GoPro? And I go, well, because I can't get the GoPro app. Amp? App. It's still early in the evening too. I can't get the app on my phone. So he's downloaded the app on his phone and now he can control my, uh, what is it? GoPro up there on the GoPro T-Post. Well then I'm sitting there looking at my tablet and I'm an educated man. And Jesus goes, well can't you download the app on your tablet? Yeah, it's only been six months. I never thought about that. So go figure. Anywho, here's what's going on. I'm a uh, I got a good opportunity, a couple channels I started watching uh, over the last month or so. Um, <clears throat> a few of them are going to do a uh, collaboration on Father's Day weekend on cooking a paella. And those of you that don't know what a paella is, it's a, uh, a Spanish type dish and it's got rice and this and that. It's just a really cool thing. But uh, I'm going to do a co collaboration with Big Lou Barbecue, cooking with CJ and... Uh, Texas style barbecue and cuisine. I think that's, is that what it was? Texas style barbecue and cuisine? I, th I think that's what it is. Anyhow, the four of Enrico's place. The four of us are going to do a, a good, we'll all be cooking paella at the same time, so to speak, and feeding off each other, and kind of like what, what Dutch and I did with the Barrel House Cooker. But I thought I should do a trial run, kind of, sort of. They, uh, they're all cooking on a Weber. I found the old Weber in the eucalyptus trees. And uh, so I kind of got the spiders out of it. It's still pretty yucky looking, but we're not cooking on the grill, so it's okay. So I thought I would do like a uh, lemon pepper chicken rice pilaf tonight and just see how the, the Weber works on doing a rice dish. Should be simple. Should be a short video for you today. Uh, our charcoal chimney here, it's about ready. It's, it's starting to look uh, a little gray on the top there. So I'm just gonna we're gonna we're gonna sit here and uh, enjoy our drinks, enjoy our cocktails, and uh, shoot the shoot the stuff, the crap. Can't say shit, so we're gonna shoot the crap. Can't say what? Shit, and we're gonna shoot the crap. And uh, in about 15, 20 minutes, I'll bring all the food out, and we'll get cooking this uh, rice pilaf dish for you. So we'll be back. Uh, how long did I say? 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. 20 minutes or so. If if I'm a little late, just hold on. I'll be here. All right. Salutes. Tune in, my friends. Okay, guys, it's been about 15 or 20 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the, uh, I'm going to bring the camera over and show you the inside of the Weber, uh, how I'm going to set this up, and then we will uh, let the Weber get nice and hot and start this process going. Oh, you mother son of a biscuit eater. So you can see that I got the charcoals around. I put two, uh, fire bricks in the middle of the Weber and then they got a ring of charcoal around those now Mr. Gooding yes sir is that properly seasoned it, it, it's your, your season looks like it's wearing thin it's a new pan and it's uh, probably the fourth time the pan's been used so the seasoning is building up I don't believe that's how you season it. I'm not sure either. No. We're going to let the Weber get hot, let the pan get hot. I'm going to run and get all the stuff we're going to be cooking. Okay. So my pan's warm. We're going to go ahead and get a little olive oil in there, get the chicken in there, and get that sautéed. And I think I'm just going to probably leave the camera on the, on the pan itself while I'm taking care of this uh, part of the uh, cook. And that's a uh, chipotle infused olive oil made made locally in the in the San Joaquin Valley. Uh, one of the things you're doing that smells actually pretty good. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to not fully cook this chicken, but we're going to get it almost done. Take it off and add it to the right rice pilaf. 
Let me get that going. You want to keep it moving constantly. Keep it fresh. So what we'll, what we'll do is, we don't want it all the way done, but so pretty soon we'll take it off of here, put it back in the bowl, because then it's going to cook another 20. You can't put it back in the bowl. That's cross-contamination. We're going to cook it again. That's, yeah. I'll go rinse the bowl. Salmonella. I'll go rinse the bowl. Bad enough, I get the comments from the people I don't know. Hold on, are you going to rinse it with the water with the dead bird in it? Yeah. Okay guys, this actually is working pretty good. The chicken didn't burn, the oil's not burning, the temperature's right. Now we're going to go ahead and cook the onions, the green peppers, throw the rice and the chicken broth, the beer in there. Now first I'm going to put a half a cube of butter. Real butter. It smells good too. They want the GoPro. Don't put it in your mouth. Whoa, 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 whoa. Odie's still in the GoPro. That's funny. That's my onion. So we'll get the onion going. Hey, stop it! This is why you have to disappear. <laughs> two, two cups. Two cups of bacon. I think. Okay, we're gonna let the bacon and onions cook a little longer. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it to the edges of the pan. Then I'm going to throw the pasta and rice in the middle and get that browning. I need to throw the beer in. The beer, the beer and the chicken broth will be the uh, liquid that it all cooks in. What I'm doing, the pasta, pilaf part of it, it's a mixture of what they call a boreo rice. It's a short grain rice. Okay, so we have the rice and the pasta. It's uh, it's it's browning. We're gonna go ahead and mix the bacon and the onions in with the pasta. Here's the rule of thumb. You know, for those of you that know how to cook rice, it's twice the water, twice the liquid of the rice. So one cup of rice, two cups of water, or what have you. When when I'm doing something in a pan like this, what I want to do is I want to fill liquid to where it just covers the stuff. And we're going to start with a stale Takati beer. I, uh, I opened this up last night, so it's stale. And then we're going to go ahead and put some chicken broth on there, Jesus. That might be perfect. You got very little in here. You want to just pour the rest? Yeah. Well, that was a lot. That was that was the difference between good chicken and enough rice. enough liquid and way too much. I overdid it. And this is similar to what I'm going to be doing with the paella, except for the paella has a lot more steps, and that's freaking hot. What's up, Wiggles? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Poison. We'll put lid on there. Uh, coals are going good. We got a couple pieces of oak on there. It's now a, a hurry up and wait game. Now remember, if you're looking, it ain't cooking, so. That's exactly right. Put the a lid good, on there. That's a good quote. We're going to let that sit 20 minutes. And then uh, we'll look. We'll probably have to let it go a little longer. Uh, but that'll it. So we'll. Uh, Tell you what, I think we're going to enjoy this Friday night. Just enjoy the Friday evening. I need another cocktail. So this, this is kind of nice. It's a beautiful evening. Um, Jesus went to, uh, well, he went to make another drink, but his is right there. Odie! Odie! What the hell was that? I'm going to take, we've been having people, uh, Speeding through here, and I think someone may have just hit the dog. <clears throat> okay, guys, it's getting uh, it's 8:30. It's getting kind of dark. I don't know how uh, 
how well you can see me. And Jesus is trying to find the flashlight we were just using. Uh, I had to take a break while we were cooking. A guy sped down the front of my road. They, they're thinking this was Indianapolis 500 or something like that. And uh, hit little Daisy May. So I had to take 30 minutes and, and doctor her up. I'll put a little eye card up here on that video. It just, you know, just kind of look at the draw of that. I don't like that dark burnt smoke coming out of the... Uh, the, the paella, the, 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 the pan. But we're going to check this real quick, and uh, it may be ruined, but we saved the dog's life today. Okay, so this actually doesn't look bad. There could be a little bit of crunchies at the bottom, and there's not. You know what saved it? The extra broth. <laughs> Never gonna live that down. If we, so that 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 looks like rice pilaf is supposed to look. Uh, this nothing stuck to the pan. Not even dry. Huh? Not even dry. Why why isn't it dry, Jesus? That extra broth. Yeah. I did not. Liam, why don't you go ahead and try that? That's good. All right, let me give this a little taste. Good. This is life changing. This, I mean, this is this is restaurant quality pilaf. Um, you want to try it with your sister's spoon, Stacy? No. You want to get your fresh spoon so you can taste it? Because whose idea was it for me to make this? Mine. Yours. It probably won't taste like you're used to. All of your good videos are my idea. dish some up for you to take home. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to assume you're going to like the chicken too then. So if you remember early in the video I put two pieces of uh, oak on this on the on the fire bricks that are in there and they weren't inflamed but you could see where they've just been smoldering give it so that chicken is going to have a smoky flavor the rice is going to have a smoky flavor now that the lids off the woods ignited um, this is all good stuff this was a fun video to make, except for the part where my dog got ran over. Um, like I said in the beginning, I'm, I'm going to be making a uh, paella collaboration video uh, next Saturday or Friday. And this was a trial run on the Weber to see if I can keep the temperatures correct and such. And uh, this worked out perfectly. This, this is a way I did it. And you notice everything got cooked, nothing burnt. Um, the rice pilaf, chicken is excellent, restaurant quality, uh, just just really good stuff. I think Odie's already wondering where Daisy May is. She's she's in the kennel. She's gonna stay in tonight. Any hoop guys? As always, guys, this is Rico, the tie dye cowboy. Wishing you well. Keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking, my friends. Salutes.